Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Sunday, March 24th. It's the third Sunday in Lent at week 5 in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 34. Mark chapter 5, verse 1 through 20. And a canticle from Exodus, the Song of Moses. Exodus 15, verses 1 through 6, 11 through 13, and 17 through 18. And now join me in singing the second verse of Eternal Lord of Love. So daily dying to the way of self, so daily living to your way of love. We walk the road, Lord Jesus, that you trod, knowing ourselves that ties into your death. So we are dead and live with you in God. Oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. Psalm 34, and please recite it with me. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. My soul boasts in you. The humble shall hear and be glad. O saints, glorify the Most High with me, and let us exalt God's name together. I sought you, my God, and you heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. We looked upon you and were enlightened, and our faces were not ashamed. I cried out, and you heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. Your angel encamps around those who fear you and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that God is good. Blessed are they that trust in God. O oh, saints, fear your God, for there is no want for those that fear God. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek you, my God, shall not want any good thing. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of God most high. Who among you loves life and wants many days to enjoy it? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of God are upon the righteous, and God's ears are open to their cry. Your face, O God, is against them that do evil, to remove their memory from the earth. The righteous cry, and you hear, and deliver them from all their troubles. You are close to them that are brokenhearted, and save those who have a contrite spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but you deliver them from their afflictions. They keep all their bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. You redeem the lives of your servants, and none that trust in you shall be punished. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gerasenes. And when he had stepped out of the boat immediately, a man out of the tombs with an unclean spirit met him. He lived among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any more, even with a chain. For he had often been restrained with shackles and chains, but the chains he wrenched apart and the shackles he broke in pieces, and no one had the strength to subdue him. 
Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always howling and bruising himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and bowed down before him, and he shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he had said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? And he replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. He begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. Now there on the hillside a great herd of swine was feeding, and the unclean spirits begged him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them. And so he gave them permission, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. And the herd, numbering about two thousand, rushed down the steep bank into the sea, and were drowned in the sea. The swineherds ran off and told it in the city and in the country. And then people came to see what it was that had happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, the very man who had had the legion, and they were afraid. Those who had seen what happened to the demoniac and the swine reported it. They began to beg Jesus to leave their neighborhood. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed by the demons begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus refused and said, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and what mercy he has shown you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him. And everyone was amazed. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. The Song of Moses, and please recite it with me. I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider you have thrown into the sea. You are my strength and my song. You have become my salvation. You are my God, I praise you. My ancestors, God, and I exalt you. You are a mighty warrior, and Yahweh is your name. Pharaoh's army you cast into the sea. Pharaoh's chase chosen were drowned in the Red Sea. The depths covered them, and they sank like stones. Your right hand, O Most High, glorious in power. Your right hand, O Most High, dashed the enemy. Who is like you among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in praises, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, and the earth swallowed them. In your mercy you led the people, the people whom you redeemed. You guided them by your strength, and they came to your holy abode. You brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your own inheritance, the place, O God, that you made your dwelling, the sanctuary, O God, that your hands had made. You reign forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.